everybody and welcome back to another vlog so today very exciting i'm going to be working on my balcony garden finally planting out all my seeds i'm so excited it was so warm this weekend so this weekend we were at my in-laws and i i skipped a video on a saturday this last weekend because i had family and i had school and i just at this time i couldn't focus on a third thing so but the weather there was so warm it was so nice that it really <laughs> inspired me to start my seeds it's monday easter monday we just got back this morning from my in-laws and i'm gonna start my seeds so before i did plant my dahlias and i planted peas and they have grown so much so here we have all of our peas growing i'm probably gonna plant these out today and then here is our dahlias this one the tuber kind of fell off and i planted it and it ended up coming out which is really nice this one was like the main set of tubers it has grown so much and then a long time ago like last fall i think we planted some spinach and only one plant actually came up this spring. So we have like one spinach plant outside and then earlier this spring we planted some more spinach but they're coming along obviously a lot slower than the one. We have that going and then let me show you my little arrangement plan. Here's our spinach. This one is getting pretty big. I think these two leaves we can probably harvest whenever and then just a few other little small ones growing around it. I think I will need to transplant these because this is our zucchini bed. And then this pot with the trellis, this is where we plant our peas. We also have our blueberry bush coming up. You can sort of see here. And then our roses. This is a trellis. We got three pieces of this. We're gonna build a little trellis to go around our sofa. And then this is going to be for our beans and our cucumbers. So there is lots happening, lots of exciting things. And I'm just excited to have my garden. So I have all of my seeds here, everything that I'm going to be planting this year. These sugar peas I already planted, they're growing right there. Today I need to plant rucola, I need to plant my uh, lettuce, oh my goodness. This is one German word that I always mix up. I always call lettuce salad now. I need to plant my lettuce. So I have a green striped zucchini and then I also have the yellow zucchini. This year we also got some new tomato varieties. So we got these black tomatoes, which I'm really excited about. And also these kind of like orange tomatoes. I'm gonna try and plant a few peppers. Last year they didn't really turn out because we were gone the later half of the summer. So I'm gonna try them again this year. We also have just normal cherry tomatoes. These are the cucumbers that we're gonna be trying out this year. I have some basil to plant. Here are some string beans and then carrots. I think I'm gonna wait to plant these because carrots are like a direct sow vegetable and I'm still debating if I have space for them. So I have these and I would like to use them but we're gonna hold off for a little bit. All these is quite a bit. Yeah, the other two seeds that I think are gonna be direct, so are the rucola and the spinach, or no, not the spinach. I, I don't even know lettuce anymore. I don't know that word, who is she? The lettuce and the rucola, I'm gonna plant those directly outside, but I'm gonna do that now because they are spring plants more so. And then all of these ones will get pots. I need to go collect my pots, see how many I have. We 
definitely don't have to worry about not having enough pots this year because I have quite the collection. So I'm actually pretty happy because most of these are on their second use. A lot of them are also like we used last year and they were secondhand. So like I'm getting a lot of use from these pots, which is great. I don't have to buy any new pots. So one thing that I do need to figure out though is how many of each I'm actually going to be planting. So for the zucchinis, we only have space for three zucchini plants. All right, so I'm gonna plant one of these and two of these tomatoes. Ooh. So in our raised garden bed, we have room for four tomato plants, but I think I wanna try doing a fifth one in a pot and see how that works. I'm going to do two of each of these and then one of this one. Okay, I should like set aside pots already. <sighs> I'm gonna try and find similar sizes. I don't know if that's super important or not. Trying to stay organized. Okay, paprika. We're gonna try three of these. Basilicum. I'm honestly, I think I'm gonna try and fill this with basil and get like a ton of basil. That would be lovely. String beans, I want two of them because our string beans and our cucumbers are gonna be growing up and around a trellis. And I think it's only wide enough that I can have two plants on either side. So two of each and that's it, that's all. Now I need to get some dirt in here and plant them. is full. I have a full bed full of pots with seeds and I'm so excited about it. Let me show you everything I planted. So this is everything so far and it also happened to kind of color coordinate which is great. So in the two gray pots we have cucumbers. In these ones we have the beans. The three little pots are the paprika uh, red peppers. <laughs> in the red pots we have the red tomatoes, the black pots have the black tomatoes, the green pots have the orange tomatoes, and then these two front pots are the green zucchinis, and this one is the yellow zucchini. These, I mean, they're all going together so they don't have to be so much apart. And then this is just all basil. So I was really thinking about how I should make tags for them, how to label them because there's more there's more varieties, there's more plants than I had last year. But this year honestly, I think I'm just going to like write a little shortening of the names on the pots and then next year I'll just like scratch that out and write another one. I'm just going to do that for now. Just writing on the pots with the Sharpie what they are. Welcome back. It is now a new day. Yesterday, I got done with all of the planting of the things that are gonna be going in pots first that I'm starting indoors. Today, I was thinking I would really like to start some like salad seeds outside. Not salad, oh my goodness. German, German, English. 
I'm speaking complete Danglish now. I wanted to start the lettuce seeds outside, but then I noticed something when I was watering yesterday. There's something growing. There is something growing and I don't know what it is. And I think it might be kale that we planted last fall and it like never came up. I think it's coming up now. So you can see right here, I'm pretty positive that's a little kale. And then also over here, there's another one and I don't know what to do. So I'm pretty sure those two things are kale and I know that they will get pretty big. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna plant anything else in that raised bed. Maybe in between I'll plant some rucola because I think that's smaller than the lettuce and then the lettuce I'll just plant in like another pot. Yeah. Planting is finished and I'm so excited. I also changed my original plan. So I ended up planting the beans, no, I ended up planting the peas in their like pot that we still had last year. There's like the bamboo sticks that we have that are kind of building a teepee kind of trellis. So we have that going. Um, they really needed to get planted outside though because they were getting really big. And I mean, it's warm enough for peas for sure. And then in the one garden bed that we have, there were the two mystery plants, which I'm pretty sure they're kale. So the one that was kind of more on the one side, I just kind of scooped up and then moved it onto the other side with the other one. And I, I think that's gonna be okay. I think so. In, in that bed, there are some beets, but I think we're just gonna dig those out. Those are from last year and they're just kind of still alive. I don't know if they ever grew or not. Maybe we'll dig them out and see another time. <laughs> and then in the other half of that garden bed, I planted the arugula and the lettuce, which was really fun. The lettuce actually, it came in these strips of seeds, which I wasn't expecting. So I opened up the package and then it was like a little wind of paper, like really thin paper. Uh, with the seeds just like dotted through it so then you would just make like a little trench and then cut off whatever length you needed and that was it so I'm really excited to see how that will turn out I think it will be better than last year's lettuce that we tried growing because it's in a raised garden bed and it's not gonna dry out nearly as quickly so I think that's gonna turn out pretty good. And that's everything I have for you guys today. I need to go now and study, study, study for my Ausbildung. If you're at all interested, I am studying physiotherapy in Germany. So stay tuned for the next video because <laughs> lots of studying. So if you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.